2023 it is the new year we are in the first quarter of the new year today's january 4th i hope you guys are having an amazing start to your new year remember in my last video if you watched it at the end i said if you have health and you have strength you have it all remember that a lot of people wish that they woke up healthy have the strength to get out of bed and all that enough with my preaching the last time i worked was january 1st i did work the new year i did put up a little short about my work day on the first and i wasn't gonna vlog this week at all but then i decided you know what get with the times because you 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 got goals you got things that you said you want to accomplish sis you gotta get up and do it because if you don't do it, don't complain that you ain't getting it. Because you didn't do it. Um, oh, if you guys are new here, me ramble for that old time. My name is Lori. I am a family nurse practitioner. And I talk nursing and a little bit of lifestyle. I just worked out. Only see me here. Yeah. I'm going to braid my hair on Sunday. I think in November, I was telling you guys that I gained like 20 pounds last year. 20 solid pounds and I was like oh I need to lose this 20 pounds by the end of the year and somebody in my comments was like well that's ambitious <laughs> that was very ambitious for real but what I was doing was slowly easing my way back in my workouts because I wasn't working out at all by the time I had went to Jamaica in August and come back me just come back and I eat and I enjoy life eating out drinking wine you know just not doing nothing that's health wise to achieve this goal of not gaining this weight in the past i've done keto lost a ton of weight but with keto uh let me put on this on top oh, i'm actually making my smoothie so let's make my smoothie while i'm gonna talk to you oh christmas tree is still up when the christmas tree is still up my goal is to take the christmas tree down this week by Saturday uh, the Christmas tree in my basement is still up I might remove the tree in the basement today and just get all the Christmas de decor out of the basement and then this weekend I'll come upstairs but anyways so I just went and blended this up off camera I gotta get back on my health and fitness grind there's just no going around it once you start gaining a lot of weight in your body you start to feel sluggish you start to feel tired and unmotivated and not want to show up for certain things because you don't feel good in in, in your own skin <laughs> and that was happening to me I'm gonna tell you guys that I recorded a lot of videos last year <laughs> I recorded even a lot of shorts but when the camera was too close to me I was like Lori some of them up and still look at them and be like girl you should have not put that up because you look entirely too big but I'm like you know what it is what it is but a lot of them I scrapped and did not put out because I'm like this is a mess this is a whole entire mess I know I need to get back to how I am comfortable and everybody is comfortable at a certain size I know a lot of people say it's not about the weight it's not about the scale really because as soon as me see the scale I creep up towards the 190 baby no sir mm -mm. it's about the number I'm sorry it's maybe not about the number for you or for some people but for me yes it is about that number because that number needs to be below a certain number for me and my mind and my sanity but everybody is different and that is okay i lost a lot of weight with keto yes but i was so restricted in what i was eating the carbs amount that they're requiring you to eat on keto you can eat entirely nothing because it's carbs and everything even with fruits like you have to can't eat no banana because that's take up your whole carb count for the entire day i'm not a banana eater but every now and then i put a half of it in my smoothie and stuff oats things like that when i was doing keto i wasn't even eating any planting and listen if you don't know jamaican people and fry planting me can't manage that no more i love my fry and i and i do fry green planting in fact that's what we're eating for dinner today because husband and I already decided that that's what we're going to eat for dinner. We're going to eat fried green plantains because I went to Kroger yesterday and they had some. 
So I'm gonna show you guys how I fry my green plantains later on today. So it's just gonna be fried green plantain and aki and sawfish. That is a typical breakfast food in Jamaica, but we're gonna eat that for dinner today. And then I think I'm gonna make some macaroni and cheese for my son. Cause my son don't like the green plantain, he likes the ripe ones and I don't have, I mean, if I let these sit for a while, they'll get ripe. Anyways, may I talk too much? I mean, if you go take a shower, this is pretty good. If you don't like avocado, don't do this because you are tasting the avocado. I don't see how much carbs in addition. How much carb in my banana? 30 something? 27 gram. Hmm. That's another thing with me. I do not like to count calories. When I did keto, I counted carbs, but that's all I counted. Lazy people like me, now go do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. Maybe, you know what? I'm gonna go downstairs and take down the Christmas decor from the basement. I forgot I said I was gonna show you guys how I fry my green plantain. So the green plantains look like this. You slice them like this and then you just brown them. And then you want to crush them. I crush them in between like a paper towel on my hand or back in the days when I already know, grandma used to use like a bottle and crush them. Now they have these fancy crusher things that I don't own. Then put it back in the oil and it's going to be looking like this. So that's what they're gonna look like. And then this is the Akean sausage. The Aki is from a tin, of course, because we don't have any fresh Aki in America. And that's it. And this is what it looks like. Akean sausage with fried green plantains. Everything is off the tree, don't mind my cleaning cloth. Then I have my tote here, trash bag, cause I'm throwing a couple of things away. finally done so I need to come move these so I gotta go through these toys with my son to see what he wants or what he don't want we went through them once before tossed a few donated a bunch and we're left with this and he really don't play with toys anymore so we're gonna go through all of this this bag right here yeah I need to take this bag to what's what you call that place office depot office one of those places that shred so i'm gonna bring it there they're gonna wait shred them and i pay them i've done it before i mean in the mood for shred all this so it don't cost that much and you put them in the big shredder and then it goes to a company it's now 4 39 i'm gonna take a shower it's after eight o'clock at night and i shower my face look oily i just made some chicken in my air fryer so that i can make a lunch for tomorrow to go to work and I'm making some tea right now not eating after eight o'clock period I'm gonna drink my tea go wash my face get myself together for bed and I'll see you guys in the morning good morning what is up I'm running a little bit late behind I'm about to run to work so I'll catch you guys up I'll talk to you guys once I get into the building <music> It's 9 p.m. at night. Let me make some tea and let's chat. Hello, hello, hello. So I got home. Um, I don't think I showed you, I showed you guys probably one clip of me working today. Listen, I have the worst headache. Like my head is pounding and 
part of the reason why my head is hurting so bad is because I am not drinking any coffee. I don't know if I told you guys in the beginning of this vlog that I am going to be coffee free for a while. Why did I tell Instagram? I don't know. Anyways, I normally do the Daniel fast in the beginning of the year and I normally do it with my good girlfriend, Nicole. Uh, you guys know Nicole. Nicole actually has a YouTube channel as well, um, Life Encourager, and um, I think she's getting back into recording again. But sis was in Jamaica and she just got back today. So I'm giving her some time to get our bearings together and then we're going to do our Daniel fast. But in preparation, I decided that I was going to start to cut things out and just started to get myself ready. But let me tell you, I couldn't manage. It was two of us today and then for the first half of the shift. The second half of the shift, I was by myself and I was like, Lord, you know me can't manage it today. So please, me don't want this place to start getting busy because once it start getting busy, like I don't know how I'm gonna manage because at one point my head was on the desk for like 15 minutes. I couldn't get up. <laughs> my head still hurt me right now. I took two Motrin, I'm about to make some tea and I don't feel hungry. I don't feel hungry. And I don't wanna eat if I don't feel, and then I appear junk in my house right now anyways from my son, like him chips and me, I try to just close my mind to that. I have some banana chips in here, I'm gonna throw them away. If you Jamaican and you like banana chips, you know, if you know, you know. Come make a dash of the banana chips then. Because I don't want no temptation. I'm going to sit down and eat the entire bag of banana chips. So I'm throwing them out. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm working tomorrow. And I pray that tomorrow is not super busy. I saw 30 patients today. I'm going to drink my tea and then I'll, I'm going to bed. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is time to go to work <clears throat> my head feels better i woke up around 3 a.m or 4 a.m and i was still having a headache so i'm gonna make my tea and i'm gonna head on out of here and i'm going to hope and pray for a good day today because i am working by myself today and today is friday so yep let's see what the day brings all right i'll catch you guys up later <laughs> Hey y'all. I think. Hold on. I gotta pause this. I'm watching this thing on own called All the Single Ladies. Season one, episode one. It's my first time watching it, but it seems interesting. I don't know where it's going, but I'm gonna stick with it a little bit. But hey, it is I think it's almost 9:15 at night. I went to work today. My head was still hurting. In the middle of the day, it stopped hurting. I hold out. I didn't drink any coffee. Today was amazing. Today, I only saw 20 patients in 12 hours. I was like, what? Thank you, Jesus, because, I mean, I, I, I wasn't feeling so good in the morning, but as the day went on, I started to feel better, but only 20 patients. Yes, somebody might say, I'm on the same pajama from last night because I wear my pajamas two nights and then I change it. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> Let me ask another question. How many nights do you wear your pajamas? Do you wear it only one night and toss it in the dirty laundry? Or do you wear it two nights? I wear mine a total of two nights and then I toss it in the dirty laundry. Let me know in the comments. I thought that was funny. When I, <laughs> I threw this on and I thought, I had this on last night. But I'm like, you know what, girl? This is real life. I wear my pajamas twice in a row. Okay. I came home and washed my hair a little bit. Kind of just wash the top because tomorrow I'm going to brunch with the girls and wash it a little bit on the top and kind of gel it down a little bit better so that tomorrow when I go to brunch it looks better. So yeah, I'm going to go finish washing the single ladies and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Hey, sorry. I'm going to say that something if I'm afraid. I'm so annoyed with myself. I had a pimple there and I popped it. And I knew better because I know anytime I pop any pimple in my face, it leaves a very bad scar, hyperpigmentation, and it's going to be hard for me to get rid of that. Finishing up my warm water and lime. <sighs> I'm tired. I just did a 30 minute core 
um, weight workout and I challenged myself today that I was going to do only my 12 pound dumbbells I was not gonna go lower with the dumbbells my honor hurt me my need for you hold on my husband's chair and him sweater if he can get cold but I'm tired I'm exhausted I need to run down take a shower get ready because I'm going to brunch at one o'clock Nicole is back from Jamaica so we're starting our down uh, we're starting Jesus we are starting our Daniel fast on Monday so hence we got to get this brunch out of the way because we know we're gonna start on Monday let me finish this shower come back looking cute every last one of my lashes are gone I don't know if I said it before that I missed my appointment because I have some stuff that was going on the other day and you know what they have the one like a struggle lash here and struggle lash there me just to pluck them out because me never like how you look just get rid of all of them all right me soon come back hey y'all um, so i just left my house and it is 12 29 i am about to pick up my sister but she don't live far from me i'm almost to her house anyways the we're going downtown so it takes 30 minutes to go downtown but I think my Taiwanese ear but my sister has a ear thing in her garage but her husband is not there and we don't have to do it ourselves <laughs> I mean not that we can't do it but we are dressed unless she's going to drive or she says she's not in the mood for drive but my back tire needs ear is really low it's telling me that it's low and I told my husband and he was like so why are you driving that car let me go put air in it I mean, I listen anyways let me catch you up when I probably get downtown check the other one too the one up front because the one up front they say something about it is low to our front it's at 33 psi yeah, this one at 32, sign at 2 by. Okay, and it's supposed to be what, 33? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My sister is so ridiculous. Bye! <laughs> so my brother-in-law just helped me put air in my tire and I'm leaving. We was trying to figure something out on my vehicle. I don't know. I'm going to have to have my husband fix it. But anyways, I am going home. Um, brunch was great. I don't think I really vlogged while I was in there. But we went to Central Kitchen. It was lovely. Can you see me? Um, <laughs> She's like, girl, beautiful. The food was great. Alright, I will catch you guys later. Okay. So, I am back home. I got my hair braided this morning. I went at 9 a.m. in the morning. She was finished by 1.40. It is 2.45 p.m. I ended up stopping at Kroger to pick up a few groceries. And now I'm about to finish edit this video because it's going up tonight. So I wanted to end the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I will definitely catch you guys up in the next video. Bye.